guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how to use different gel with benzoyl peroxide. You guys have been asking about this, you know, tips and tricks. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I'm a board certified dermatologist. I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up. It really helps my videos out a lot. Now, different gel, if you're not familiar, is adapalene. Adapalene is the only FDA approved uh, retinoid that you can buy over the counter for the treatment of acne. I've got a lot of videos on tips, tricks, common pitfalls and mistakes people make when using uh, different gel or adapalene to treat their acne. So check those out. So adapalene, to be clear, is a retinoid. It works within the pore to uh, go to work at the site of acne to prevent breakouts from occurring and to treat existing breakouts. It kind of helps the skin behave more normally and not clog up the pores. It helps with oiliness, all those things. Now, benzoyl peroxide also gets down in within the pore, but it's more focused on reducing the burden of that bacteria, Cutibacterium acne, that is responsible for acne, and it also reduces inflammation along with, along with adapalene. The together, they can really help reduce inflammation, which is a key driver in acne pathogenesis. So adapalene, different gel, will treat existing breakouts and prevent breakouts in the future. Benzoyl peroxide will treat existing breakouts and prevent breakouts in the future, but the two work differently. Combine them together and you really have a strong treatment strategy for acne, especially if your acne is red, painful, like you get painful cysts, this combination actually can be more effective than either ingredient alone. As a reminder to you guys, um, different gel, adapalene, this is not a spot treatment. This is something that you wanna to use to treat your entire face, sparing the thin skin of the eyelids to not only treat existing acne, but to prevent acne breakouts in the future. The different gel will not work at all if you just use it as needed when you get a breakout. It has to be something that you use consistently. It's safe to use you know, long-term and definitely every day for years and years and years. It is safe to use. Now, benzoyl peroxide, on the other hand, uh, it can be used to the entire face. It is safe to use long-term. However, it's super drying. Um, unlike adapalene, different gel, it's actually very effective as a spot treatment. So if you are not such a fan of using benzoyl peroxide, understandably, like I said, it's super drying, uh, you can just use it as a spot treatment. And that's really why I like the idea of benzoyl peroxide and adapalene um, as, two separate, as two separate products. You know, if you go to a dermatologist, we might prescribe you something called EpiDuo, which combines adapalene and benzoyl peroxide together in one product. It can be a little bit more limiting. Uh, so having, it, having a situation where you can just use benzoyl peroxide as needed as a spot treatment, I think is really convenient. All right, so how do you use these two together? First of all, let's talk about the type of benzoyl peroxide that you might wanna use. Uh, probably the easiest to tolerate is going to be a face wash. Um, and different also, different actually makes a benzoyl peroxide face wash. Um, and the way to use this is you can just lather it to the face, uh, to a clean face actually. You don't wanna use it like as a makeup remover or anything like that because it is, can be very irritating and combined with makeup makes it even more irritating. So go ahead and wash your face first, lather this to your face, sparing the eyes. Don't get this near your eyes, sparing the eyes. As a side note, this can also be used to other areas of the body. Leave that lather on the skin for a few minutes and then rinse it off. Doing that consistently, the benzoyl peroxide will get down in the pore and really help. This is much gentler than using a actual spot treatment or a leave-on product, which tends to be more drying. The other advantage of doing the wash is that as you guys who have used benzoyl peroxide before know, it will stain your fabrics, your sheets. It will bleach them. Um, <laughs> I have like pillowcases that have benzoyl peroxide uh, bleach marks on them. And there's even a benzoyl peroxide bleach mark on my carpet in my bedroom from a video I filmed in the past. Yeah, so that's not the best thing. I mean, that you know, that's annoying. The wash form removes that issue because you just lather it to your face and then you rinse it off down the sink and it's not gonna transfer then to fabrics as opposed to the leave-on stuff will. So that's nice and it's less drying, it's less irritating. So you can do that um, before, before you apply different. 
uh, that can certainly be one way to incorporate it to get that extra level of control. And you may choose to use a benzoyl peroxide wash uh, just during periods of time when you're having more acne, um, maybe seasonally. You know, some people find that their acne gets a little bit worse, like in the summer if they live in a really humid climate and they're sweaty a lot. So that might be a time where you might want to bring in a benzoyl peroxide wash. Alternatively, you can also use a benzoyl peroxide leave-on product. Now, in the drugstore, you'll find a ton of them. They vary in percentage strength. There's like 2.5%, 5%, 10%. And you may be wondering, well, what's the best percentage? Truthfully, I recommend going with a lower percentage, the lowest percentage. Why? Well, the studies show that lower percentages of benzoyl peroxide are equally effective at treating acne as higher percentages, but less irritating. And if you've already got different gel on board, the last thing you want is excessive irritation from a drying benzoyl peroxide. Uh, so just go with a low 2.5%, um, you know, that comes to mind. I don't know that there aren't that many products that are lower, but if you, you know, if you can find one, that's great. Uh, I saw recently actually Neutrogena came out with a fragrance-free 2.5% benzoyl peroxide leave-on gel. So I'll link that down below in the description box, but I would recommend doing that. Now, how do you apply both products together? You're gonna use them at nighttime. You're gonna start with a clean face, a clean, dry, moisturized face. You guys know from my other videos, I recommend that you wash your face and then after you rinse your skin, you apply a moisturizer. This will just kind of help reduce dryness and irritation. Once the moisturizer has absorbed and dried and is all well and good, then you're gonna apply your Differin Gel to the entire face, sparing the thin skin of the eyelids. After your Differin Gel has dried and absorbed, then you're gonna come in with the Benzoyl Peroxide Gel. Uh, and again, I recommend 2.5% just because it's less drying and irritating. Now, where you put it is up to kind of you and the type of acne that you have. Uh, first and foremost, you do not wanna put it around the thin skin of the eyelid. It's gonna be very drying and irritating there. If you have a lot of acne, like on the cheeks, the jaw lines, you might wanna just go ahead and put it to the entire face. Um, be aware, it can be super drying. If you've got moderately severe acne, you may wanna just go ahead and apply it to the entire face. But if you're someone who, you know, you get, you're still getting occasional breakouts, even on different, you might just wanna apply it to those breakout areas as a spot treatment. Let it dry fully before going to bed because it will transfer to your sheets and bleach them. Even once it dries, it can still do that. So I recommend just putting down like a towel on your pillowcase so you don't ruin your pillowcase. But that's how to use two point, that's how to use benzoyl peroxide gel. The percentage does not matter. The higher the percentage, the more likely it's going to be drying and irritating when it comes to benzoyl peroxide. And EpiDuo, the prescription combination cream, is a dapoline gel and 2.5% uh, benzoyl peroxide. So it's an effective concentration, especially in, co you know, in combination with adapalene. What are the advantages of using both together? Basically, oh. there's a cat outside. What is the advantage of using both together as opposed to just using one? Well, the advantage is faster results. Uh, adapalene, different gel, takes some time to work. Benzoyl peroxide will help that acne go away faster if it's used along with, with the different gel. So that's an advantage, especially for those, those random painful breakouts like on the jawline. And it also can help in preventing breakouts in the future. The, the combination together of adapalene and benzoyl peroxide is more effective than either alone. So, you know, if you are someone, here's what I recommend. Try adapalene different gel first. Try it for like four, four to six weeks. Now, as I've said in my videos, it takes about three months to really, really start seeing the best results. But as early as four to six weeks, you really should start seeing improvement. If you're still getting breakouts through, through the different gel, you might want to introduce that benzoyl peroxide spot treatment at that point. Assuming that four to six weeks into using different gel, you're tolerating it okay, it's not too drying, it's not too irritating, uh, then you know that might be a time to consider 
pulling in benzoyl peroxide back into, you know, into the picture to get you a little bit more control. This is why I actually prefer having adapalene separate from benzoyl peroxide is, you know, it kind of gives you a little bit more, you can finesse it a little bit more. And I like that. I like that because you may not, you know, you may not want to do benzoyl peroxide every day to the entire face. It may just be too dry. It's going to be too drying sometimes. Um, so it's nice to be able to back off on that and just rely on the adapalene. Now, benzoyl peroxide and adapalene differ in gel. There's no risk of resistance. Your skin doesn't become resistant to them. Your skin doesn't become used to them. You can use them indefinitely. Um, they're safe, they're effective. If you do become pregnant, you would want to stop these. Uh, it's the only time that you would really need to stop them. Or if you're, you know, treating dermatologist tells you to stop these because you're going to prescribe some other treatment or something, then, you know, you would obviously want to stop in that case. But otherwise, you're safe to use. And you don't have to just think about this as a treatment for the face. It can also be used to chest acne, back acne, acne on your rear end. Um, anywhere, anywhere you've got acne, you can use these treatments. They're not face specific. My neighbor's cat has joined us outside. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, I hope this video was helpful. And I also have videos comparing benzoyl peroxide to like salicylic acid. So check those out. I have a lot of videos on this type of content. Um, I hope you will check those out and hopefully they're informative and this video was informative. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.